Hey Rockstar, Steve aka Void here and I want to welcome you to another episode of Pajama Jam where I attempt to learn popular songs, riffs and solos up to speed in 30 minutes or less live on camera. Now before we get into the episode, I want to just make sure that all the tech is working properly. So I noticed that the chat may not be working here. Can you let me know in the chat box um, if you could see and hear me clearly as well as let me know where you're watching from, uh, if you got your jammies on and uh, if you got your guitar with you, it's always good to know who's watching. So um, let me know in the chat over there. We've got a really cool episode for today. Today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be working on uh Monkey Wrench by the Foo Fighters and uh, Monkey Wrench is a cool track um, back in it was April 28th 1997 man sometimes I look up the dates of these songs and it blows my mind how long ago when I really think about it I mean that was that was 22 years ago that's insane so um, we've got that obviously off of the color and the shape record right over here the color and the shape which um, the spelling of color that's the um, the British spelling C O L O U R British or Canadian spelling which is surprising because Foo Fighters is an American band but um, it was an homage to uh, to the producer Gil uh, Gilles Norton so um, a very very uh, talented producer and a great album if you haven't heard this album before. Um, it's a fantastic album. It has classics like Everlong. It has um, My Hero, uh, Hey Johnny Park. Just amazing. I remember the first time that I heard this record and it blew my mind. Um, Up in Arms was actually my favorite song off the record when I first heard it. Um, but this, yeah, Monkey Wrench is such a sweet tune. And I remember how pissed I was when I saw the music video uh, that Dave Grohl cut his hair short and uh, grew a goatee. It just like completely looked different. He looked, I guess, like 10, 20 years older than he did on the previous record. So I remember being pretty pissed. But this song, it definitely rocks hard and I'm really excited to learn that. So um, let's see here. We've got Johnny here. We've got Tony here. We've got Ian here. Awesome. Okay, very, very cool. So, um, and if you're watching, if you're tuning in, let me know where you are calling in from. And uh, so, yeah, where you're watching from. And if you could see and hear me clearly, that would be super cool. So, um, if this is your first time at, uh, at P Pajama Jam, then basically the way that it works is I'm going to be diving into a song, um, Monkey Wrench, tonight. And I'm going to be um, learning the parts. And so from your perspective, what I think the ideal way to watch this is to just sit back, relax, watch the strategies, pay attention to the strategies that I use to learn the different parts of the song, pay attention to how I prepared for the session, pay attention to those things, as opposed to specifically what note goes where this note, then this note, then this note, like, don't worry so much about that you can, you can watch the replay. And uh, you could even uh, download the tab, all the different stuff that you can do on, you know, really online, you can just download, you can learn this song if you want to. But I'm using this song as an example of how to learn songs quickly. Okay, so I'm using this as an example for good strategy, the same strategy that I outline in my book, Practice Less, Play More, which you can get on Amazon. Um, if you go to practicelessplaymore.com, then you'll be able to get to the right place. There's even an option there to work with me directly and, um, and I'll show you how to do everything that I'm doing here on the show. Okay, so what I recommend, no matter what level you're at, beginner, intermediate, whatever it might be, just sit back and watch the show, relax, and just take in all of the different strategies that I'm, um, that I'm using and just see how it's very, very different than just starting from the beginning and just going note by note by note by note. Oops, I made a mistake. And then go back to the beginning, note by note by note by note. Oops, I made a mistake. Go back to the beginning. Like, it's just not like that. Because if I'm going to be learning in 30 minutes or less, then that means I have to use a really good strategy. All right. So, and nice. I see Ben is here. Great to see you, buddy. Awesome. All right. So, and wow, Arizona, 110 degrees. That's crazy. I am jealous because I really like the heat. So um, tonight, that's what I'm going to dive into, uh, Monkey Wrench. And we're going to get into that um, in just a second. First, I'm going to talk quickly about how I prepared for the session. And that is called pre-practice. Okay, so pre-practice. I talk about that in chapter five of my book, 
Pre-practice is where you prepare everything that you need for the practice session, before the practice session. So that could be in the morning, that could be during the day, that could be in the morning and during the day, that could be right before the session. It's all about making sure that when you're sitting down and, um, and practicing learning the song, that you are spending the entire time learning the song and playing the song. Not that you're searching online for resources, not that you're, um, you know, getting a bottle of water or anything like that. Basically, we want to make sure that we have everything that we need. The guitar is tuned, all that stuff before we get to the practice session. Okay, nice. Denis, welcome, buddy. So pre-practice for me tonight consisted of um, during the day I did this. Actually, I got the, um, the PDF of the song. We've got two actually. Um, I starred, well, there were, the second one was just to kind of like double check to make sure that I had the, like that both were accurate. Like, oh yeah, these both say the same thing. So I'm pretty sure that this is how to play the song. So I got two tabs and I also starred um, one of the tabs. So I, the star is like, I put a goal, um, a red star on each part. So when I'm scrolling through, I can quickly catch the part that I need to, to learn if I'm learning the different sections rather than scrolling through and trying to search for it. So you can, if you're working with a songbook, um, you know, that's printed out, uh, you could use a pen, just use an asterisk, however you want to mark it. The most important thing is just that you mark those different sections. Okay. Um, what else did I do? I didn't cut my nails. That's one thing that I regret. I didn't cut my nails. And it's amazing between episodes how like how quickly nails grow. But I didn't cut my nails and I don't have my nail, cl nail clippers here for some reason. So um, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But that's normally what I would do. I'd clip my nails there. I have the uh, metronome set to 174. Pretty fast tempo. Um, that's the tempo of the song. I confirm that on the tab and with the song. And then I also tune the guitar down to drop D. Okay, and just can you guys tell me if this, if you could hear that, you should be able to hear that. Um, so I put the, I tuned down to drop D and you might like, if you know this song, then you're probably like, why isn't that like ripping distortion? I like to learn songs with with a clean sound because if I learn with clean, then that means that when I put the distortion on, then it's going to sound really, really good because the with clean, I can hear all of the imperfections. I could hear all of the moves. It's very, very accurate. And then with the distortion, which I will add later on, like hopefully fingers crossed, everything goes well. I'll put the distortion on and then it'll sound that much better. Okay, so I got that. And then I also got my water over here and we should be good to go. So let me just double check. Jim, how's it going, buddy? Dan is here. David is here. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right. So again, welcome to the session. Super stoked for today's session and let's jump right into it. So I talked about pre-practice. We're going to jump right in and then I'll try to talk as much as possible through what I'm thinking as I'm playing. So as I'm playing, as I'm learning, I'm just going to try to narrate as much as possible um, just so you can, you know what I'm thinking because um, that's the most valuable part of this show. So um, let's do two things here. I'm going to get the tab open. Okay, so I'm going to get the tab open here. And then I'm also going to start up the countdown. So let's do this. I'm going to get the tab. Okay, that's there. And then I'm going to get the countdown timer over here. And let's set that properly. So today's the 10th. All right, just over 30 seconds. Okay, so this is... Um, this is the tab that I'm going to use because it has the star on it. But I also have this tab over here, which is pretty much the same stuff. So what I'll do is I'm going to learn. Um, I'm going to first quickly scan through all of this here. And I did this before, but I'm just going to double check and also just show you what I do. So um, this is one guitar part. There's another guitar part. So that's why there's two stars. Okay, so and I'm going to have to kind of like deal with the fact that it's on two different lines there. So I'll have to follow that then here's the verse okay i'm not seeing anything strange that's what this is all about quick scan is just to double check i want to make sure that there's nothing strange here that's um, going to throw me off so it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem the tempo might be 
Um, but pre-course, okay, so I'm going through here. A couple of weird things in there. I'm probably going to skip those things. I don't think, just look, another really important point here is that part of pre-practice, I listen to the song. And also even before that, I just, I love this song. So learning songs that you love is also what's going to make you learn faster. Okay, does that make sense? Let me know in the chat box if that makes sense. That when you learn how to play songs, you should be learning songs that you love because you know how they're supposed to go. You know what it's supposed to sound like up here. Now you're just trying to get that out of here and into your fingers using your eyes and the tab that is being uh, shown to you or a video where someone's walking you through something. So your eyes take in the information, your ear already hears the song in your head and you're just making sure that your fingers play that accurately, okay? So this um, pre-course here, I'll probably skip those two little parts there. Um, just seems a little bit like extra. Um, okay, and then the course. Okay, so I'll just have to get the rhythm down for that. But the whole point here is just to make sure that if there's anything strange, then you just put, you'd mark it. Like I'd usually put a red box around that area just to make sure that nothing is um, weird. So these chords are probably going to be fine, but we'll hear what that sounds like in, in a sec. Okay, and then the bridge. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, this I'm, I don't really hear in the song, but I'll probably play the rhythm part here. Forgot to put a star there. Good job, Steve. So, all right, yeah. Well, we'll go. With, we'll go with that for now. Let's just jump into it because I'm, you know, reading into the clock, and I've got to be fair, right? Because I'm not going to quick scan through this, take in information, and um, and not have the clock running. It's just, it's important to uh, stick to the rules here. So let's get going on this. Okay. Wish me luck. So, all right. First step is I'm going to learn the lead here, the main riff. And I'm going to do that with uh, no tempo practice first. I'm just going to go through it. It's like quick scanning, but with my fingers, just to make sure that I've got the moves here, um, but with no pressure of tempo. Okay. And then I'm going to decide whether or not to do this with one finger. Okay, then it goes down. Okay. I'd go with this finger. Okay, so, okay, that's that's not bad. Um, so what I'm going to do now, now that I went through that with no tempo practice, I'm going to go uh, with slow tempo practice, and that's where I'm going to play so slow that I can't make a mistake. So here, I'm going to go... Um, So it's just walking down. Okay, so that's not going to be bad. And now, now that I did it once with uh, slow tempo practice, I'm going to do that with the fast practice formula, which says that I have to play something three times without making a mistake before moving on. What does moving on mean? Either play the part faster, play uh, more, so more of the song, um, so increase the amount, or increase the complexity. So if, let's just say there was something where, like at the at the bend, at the end there, the bend that I'm playing, maybe I would remove that first, and then I, if I did it three times without making a mistake, I would make it more difficult by doing more complex by adding that bend. But you'll see. So I'm gonna. So what I'll do is just I'll play it again um, three times. So I'm gonna aim for three times. Okay, that's two times in a row. And every time you do this, it reinforces what we're doing here. So I'm going to keep the same speed. I'm going to do this part. Now I'm going to increase the amount that I know. So I'm going to go onto this part um, and play this three times. Um, okay. Two times. Okay, so now just to complete the line, I'm going to increase the amount. Okay, this is called a chunk. Okay, so... Okay, I think that's gonna be pretty, that's gonna be fine. Oh, made a mistake there, reset the counter, I don't wanna assume. Because I'm playing this fast, um, like in the end, I'm gonna play it at 174 BPM, I've gotta make sure I've got this right. It's two. That's three. Okay, so that's fine. Now I could increase the amount or the increase the speed, but I'm gonna actually increase the amount. I'm gonna play this part here. Um, yeah. Two. 
that's three. Okay, now I'm gonna just do the same thing here. I'm gonna play this. Um, yeah, I get it. Oh, I get it. It's two bends. But here in my head, it sounds like. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's down first, but the tab saying kind of like two bends. Um, okay, I'll do it like the tab. I'll do it like the tab. That's totally fine. Um, okay, so I'll go. Uh, this would be with the index. Okay. Two. Notice how I do it three times without making a mistake before moving on. I'm going to increase the amount. I'm going to play this much here. Okay, that's cool. One. Two. Cool. Notice how I'm playing this clean. So I'm making sure that everything is good here with um, with the technique. And then um, I'm going to add distortion after. Okay, so 23 minutes, I want to make sure that this is done um, in the next couple of minutes here, because this part I know is not going to be too tricky. I mean, unless the speed, let's hear this tempo 174. Okay, I'll go back to like 150. Because it's still gonna be faster. Okay. This is I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I'm skipping steps because I have so many parts to learn. Um so now that part, okay, so that's not bad. Um because I'm I'm I made a sort of pattern in my head that is sort of walking down, coming back up, walking down, coming back up, walking down, and then it has this little section here. So that's totally fine. Um, you know, if I didn't, if I fell flat on my face there, I would know what parts to work on. But that was actually good because again, I know what the song's supposed to sound like. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, 160, I'm gonna go up to. Normally, you want to go up three to five BPM. So. Uh, that's actually technically a mistake. So, um, yeah, that's better. That is actually, yeah, now that it's at a faster speed, that is actually what it should sound like um, with that bend. Um, wow, actually, this is pretty fast with for the downstroke. Um, okay, so let's do this here. Hmm. Not bad. So, and here I'm gonna look down sometimes at my my um, uh, strumming hand. So, okay, two. Not bad. Let's see with the alternate picking or alternate strumming. So. That might be better. Um, we'll see when the distortion comes on, but that's probably. Um... Yeah, because the downstrokes sometimes feels a little bit like pecking. But that's that's actually better. What I just played there was better. So, OK, with distortion, that's going to sound pretty good. So that's good. Um, Let's go with the intro here. So 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm still on target here. Um, this part I only want to spend a couple of minutes on. I don't think it's going to be that tricky. Um, power chords with the slide in. So I'm going to play. I'm going to do no tempo practice just to see what's going on over here. Um, okay, so actually no tempo practice. So I'm going to go one. Here. Yeah. Okay, that's not going to be that bad. Um, again, it's just more of a speed thing, but I think with the chords, I'm going to be able to do alternate strumming. 
So um, let's do no tempo practice here. So again, no, um, so sorry, no tempo practice is without any pressure of any pulse. You're just kind of figuring out with your fingers if there's any strange parts or like parts that you have to adjust. And then, then you, once you do that and you go through that, then you go to slow tempo practice, which is just so slow that you can't make a mistake. So here I'm gonna go um, one and two and three and four and 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 okay one more time one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so i'm going to skip some steps here because i don't think that this part like i'm feeling this is actually fairly easy at least um, learning the parts it's going to be more the execution at the faster tempo that might be a little bit challenging but um um, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so I'm gonna actually skip that because that felt pretty easy so let's just see from memory if I can learn the two parts and sorry that I can't get both parts on the screen but I could see it on my screen here um, let's see here so one and two and three and four actually if I were just remove this for a second um, might be able to see it all um, so, um, so it'd be one, two, three, four. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so again, in my head, I know what it's supposed to sound like, so it's easier for me to kind of direct things here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do alternate um, strumming. Yeah, so it'd be like that. That's actually going to be a little bit uh, tricky. With the, with clean, I've got no sustain on this, so uh, with distortion, that'll definitely be easier to get that slide happening. Okay, and I'm going to actually do that twice. So, three, one, two, three. Okay, that was actually, that was an accident. That was up to speed. Um, but that's because, I mean, those power chords, it wasn't really that tricky, I'll be honest. I mean, like, that's just not, that's not that uh, that challenging. Um, so it's okay. So that's, um, I'm happy about that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And so we have two parts down and I'll, I'll loop that uh, later on because um, I got those two parts down. That's going to sound really good together. So here, this, is, this has to be all, downstroke so this is gonna be pretty fast um okay because the palm muting so let's see here i'm just doing no tempo practice okay so that's no tempo practice so slow tempo practice will be sometimes you could do it with the metronome maybe that's what i'll do here so slow. Remember, it's so slow you can't make a mistake. So, or you have to play this this side so slow, a tempo that's so slow that you can't make a mistake. So that's different for everyone. This one, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. So now I'm gonna go up a little bit. Normally you do this three times without making a mistake, but uh, you know I'm racing against the clock over here. One, two, three, four. Um, so be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, my bad. This um, that part's no no palm mute. So let's do that again. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Cool. Okay, let's do that again. Cool. I can't believe I never learned this song before. So, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed it up 
Um, because I, I know, again, I know what it's supposed to sound like. So now it's just more about, let's see if my, my hand could keep up. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. Um, and let's go faster. So normally I would do this three times without making a mistake before moving on, but I've got a boogie on this one here. Let's just actually jump into it. Sometimes just jumping right into the target tempo will show you what problems to fix. So it'll show you what areas to work on. Two, three, four, one. Wow, that's fast. Oh man, these guys are like punks. Um, this is this is a this is a punk song. Um, okay, so let's do that again. One, two, three, four, one. Okay. Now, actually, since I got here, I'll do uh, two times in a row. One, two, three, four, one. That's actually a super cool feature of this song. There's that break on beat one. It's like one, two, like that. That's cool. And by the way, I'm looking down at my palm mute um, if I'm trying to keep that uh, steady uh, tempo because I could kind of feel my way around over here. So never, you know, don't be afraid to look around. Um, you definitely don't want to be like looking elsewhere. You want to be looking at the guitar, um, sometimes maybe popping up to look at the tab, but really just focus as much on the guitar as possible. Don't think that by looking down at the guitar, you're going to become dependent on that. You're building muscle memory here, so you have to watch your hands. Okay, so that's cool. That'll sound good with distortion. I'll do that after. Um, okay, now next star. Um, okay, so no tempo practice. Let's see. This is the pre-chorus. I'm not going to do the that these notes here. I'm just going to... Um, okay. Cool. Okay, so that's gonna basically that's going into the course. Um, this part here. So no tempo, pra uh, no tempo practice is complete. Now let's go slow tempo practice. Let's go with the temp, with the metronome, and every single time is slightly different here. But every episode is slightly different of how we get to the finish line. But I want to make sure that I get this. I get the course, and then I get the um, the bridge, and then we should be good. This might be, I don't think it's gonna be a photo finish, but um, I think this. I'm pretty confident. Let's see what we got here. Is this helpful so far, guys? Watching as I'm piecing together the different parts. Um, let me know in the chat box. So, um, okay, so there I just I played that at one thirty. I've got to go up. I'm gonna go up ten each time. So, um, whoops, that's I guess I reset. So. Okay, that's that's cool. Now I'm just trying to get a feel of it um, because it's just going to repeat this. So okay, cool. Let's just keep going faster. One sixty. Normally you'd want to do this three times without making a mistake each step. So. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting that feel. 174 is the target tempo, so I'm there. So. Okay, so that feels good. This part I knew wouldn't be that tricky. Um, it's just getting those shots. And it's funny because I'm playing clean right now so you can hear everything. That's the point. When you're going to see when the distortion's on how a lot of this stuff just kind of takes care of itself. Um, but okay, so that's the pre-chorus. Now let's go to the chorus. Um, this, the rhythm is what's going to be the thing I want to get here. Bam, bam, ba da da bam, bam, ba da 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 No. ba da 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 dum da dum da dum I'm going to have to kind of figure this out, but no tempo. Cool. 
Mm. I love that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna play the just the power chord part here. I mean, the other one is just with some extra notes. <laughs> That's probably like Pat Smear's part, but I, I'm gonna do this part here. So, cause it's gonna sound really cool with distortion. Um, so now I'll do slow tempo practice. Um, let's do this here. Mm. Best interest of time. No, 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 I'll do this. I'm gonna be responsible here, not reckless. So. Okay, it's one. Again, I know the song, right? So I know what it's supposed to sound like. And also, okay, I do, I am recognizing the rhythm of this part. Um, that's, that is how I, I did figure out some of this right now. But um, if you need any help with that, just let me know. If you need any help, if we're working together already, let me know. If we're not working together, what are you waiting for? Um, sign up for Play From Day One, add your name to the waiting list. I'll, I'll walk you through how to, how to do that. But I'm, I'm just joking. I'm like half joking here because like you can obviously ask questions inside the chat over here. But definitely, if we are working together and you need help with what I'm doing here, then just let me know. It's not mandatory. I'll just tell you what the rhythm is. Um, I'll tell you what the rhythm is in whatever song you're working on. But here... That's, that feels good. Now I'm gonna just get this next part here. So notice how I'm always doing three times without making a mistake. Okay, so, um, uh, actually, I'll, technically I'll just, it'll be easier going from this. Um, okay, um, and that's, that would be, maybe I'll even jump up. Yeah, that, that might be better. That jump to this power chord here that it's asking for, I might modify that to another chord here. Feel free to modify tabs, guys. Like you don't need to play verbatim. You don't have to play it exactly with what's on here. If it sounds the same, then you could totally translate it. Um, so. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so. Um, now let's do the whole thing here slow. And again, you wanna play three times without making a mistake before moving on. Like I've been doing this for a long time, so sometimes I could get away with doing it once or twice, but definitely as good practice, you wanna do three times without making a mistake before moving on. Cool, okay. Now I'm gonna get it once and then I'm gonna do it multiple times, so. Yeah, cool, okay, I feel good about that. I did a little bit extra there, but let's do it three times without making a mistake. Cool. That's three. Okay, so now I'm gonna do two times in a row um, this part of the, the course. Um, so it'll be, and I might, as I'm playing it, maybe I'll do four times in a row, but let's just see what we got here. So. Three, four. Cool, I love that. All right, that again, this is going to all sound really good with distortion. Um, Okay, so now, bridge, boom, 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 boom. Um, da, 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 dum, da, 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 Okay, so now no tempo practice on this. This part's so grunge. Yeah, this, this is all pretty much blah, 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 blah. This part's similar with the, to the other parts there. So, um, oh, I just remember there's another section here. Okay, so this I'll do in slow tempo practice now. And I've got a boogie on this. So I'm gonna do the whole thing so slow I can't make a mistake, but I'll go super slow. So, with a steady pulse, so. Cool. 
okay, so that's good. Now, I'm gonna jump in the deep end here because there's one more section I gotta play after this, I just remembered. Good job, Steve, on uh, <laughs> starring the different sections. I didn't, I forgot to do a couple of parts here. So, uh, this is too fast. Okay, so I'm gonna do, with all the skips, I'm gonna do 150. It's supposed to be 174. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four. Nope, made a mistake there. Okay, so I gotta go slower. Two mistakes in a row means you gotta decrease the speed, the amount, or the complexity. Four. Okay, so I did three times in a row there. Um, let's pump it up a little bit here. Three minutes left. Jesus. Okay, so. Okay, so now, whoops, and I dropped my pick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to have to use another pick now because it's too dark here to see where that pick went. Okay, all hell's breaking loose over here. I'm going to go to the, <laughs> the, the, the target tempo. Okay, and let's go. So. Okay, so that's good, that's good. Um, that is that part, and then on this part, oh, actually, the one last thing before I quit is, oh, it's, that's just the, um, um, okay, actually, yeah, that part is, that's done, that's already good. Um, but oh, this part, bum 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 bum. Um. Cool. All right. I think that we're good. Maybe it's just this ending. Um. No. Uh, all that's repeated. Everything's repeated. So when you learn these chunks like this, you just stitch them together. And I mean, that's you have you have a song. Um, that's why going through the chunks is so, uh, so important, you know, going through those chunks is really everything rather than just learning at face value, you just chunk it up. So in that, in that bridge section, I think there's like big slides in there. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, cool. All right. So that is monkey wrench. It, I finished it. I finished it just in time. Oh my god! Whew. That where is that? Let me put the the flashlight on over here. Where did the pick end up over there? Because I do. That's my my Dunlop. It like it vanished. I think it like. I think it spontaneously combusted. All right. I have no idea where that pick went. Okay. Well, that pick is gone forever. And um. That is going to suck because I really like those picks. The Dunlop 0.73, uh, the yellow Tortex. It just sounds good um, and feels feels good. But I'm going to have to use my um, Dunlop Jazz 3. Okay, But yeah, that was a close one. That could have really worked out. Um, not in my favor. Okay, so let's get rid of the countdown timer here. And... Now what I'm let's have some fun here. I'm gonna stay on for for the next little bit and let me know if that was helpful. If that was uh, if you guys like that as well as um, if you have any questions because I'm I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and answer some questions. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna play with the uh, the looper pedal because I want to play both of this these parts here. I want to play the riff which I didn't play with this pick yet. Hmm, I might use a lighter pick. Let's just see. See what it sounds like. Okay, so some of the thinking about a lot of things over here, guys. So I made a little error over there. I know it's the first fret, um, 
but because it's so fresh, I've got to play this in context. I've got to let it sort of seep in a little bit more. But what I want to do is I want to play some with some distortion and let's do this. Let's, is that cool if I put some distortion on guys? Let me know in the chat if I put some distortion on, if, uh, if you want to hear distortion, maybe you're tired, maybe you don't want to hear any distortion. Let's, let's see, did you want to hear some distortion guys? Because I definitely want to hear distortion with this. I want to hear what these riffs sound like. So, um, let me, let me add some distortion. Put that a little lower. Cool. All right, that's gonna be good. So, welcome Greg, nice, I see that, uh, that you made it to the session, very, very cool, welcome Pete, very cool. Um, so, let's do this, let's go here. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> So much better with distortion. Cool. See, if, yeah, it was pretty much in, in time there. So, one, two, three, four, one. Very cool. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try to uh, record this loop over here of the, um, the intro. So the main riff. Okay, that should be good. So let's see uh, if this works. That's totally gonna work. Okay, so let's see. Um, and now hopefully both of them together sound okay. Um, uh, might be too much distortion. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm working with some uh, limited tech over here, guys. So let me just see if I can make this happen. Um, That's very cool, man. I love that. That's such a great record. Um, so hopefully that was clear. I'm not sure if um, sometimes with broadcasting it's a little bit uh, a little bit tricky to get the signals all working together, especially because this is all like feeding through a looper pedal and um, and I'm trying to like play on top of on the same like on the same track. Sometimes it overloads. Hopefully that was clear. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Wow. So um, let me know. And I'm seeing. Okay, so. 
got wow from Pete. So I hope it seems like that's uh, that it worked. And um, Ian saying you changed something in your setup. Mike and guitar aren't canceling each other out and going all muffled like past jams. Okay, so that's great. That's definitely great. Um, cool, Lance. Awesome, awesome guys. All right, thank you, thank you for um, for the kind words. And um, Monty, how's it going, dude? Are you back from Romania? Awesome. So, um, let me know in the chat if you have any questions, if you have any uh, any comments or anything like that. And um, as usual, this replay is going to be available on Facebook, YouTube, all the different platforms. So in case you missed a part of it, then you can definitely um, check that out. Again, if you go to pajamajam.tv, then uh, you'll be able to see all of the different episodes of Pajama Jam. And uh, tomorrow, I should be getting you highlights from this episode, just in case if you want to see some some of the highlights or if, in case you um, you missed some of the some of the parts then you can just quickly see the highlights there um now if you want to know how i did what i just did then definitely check out the, my book practice less play more um you're going to see more in depth in like in the fast practice formula and into um how i go about thinking about what i'm practicing um when, when i'm practicing and how, how to learn quickly like i look i'm racing against the clock here this doesn't show you how to um you know broadcast live in front of an audience learning a song for the first time up to speed in 30 minutes or less. like you just just that's not what this is about you know this is just this is fun we it's like a game show practice less play more is going to show you how to do it properly and so that you you're responsible you know you do three times without making a mistake before moving on and you know you learn the formula and you learn to do it properly now if also if you want me to show you how to do this in your own playing with songs that you want to learn definitely check out playfromday1.com uh it's an invite only program um you know you can't just go to a website and click a button um it's invite only and if you want to come and uh, learn songs with me and uh, be part of a really great group like a lot of you know, a lot of the guys over here are in the program. Great guys. I'm so lucky to be coaching you. And um, and it's so much fun. We're just getting started. And so add your name to the waiting list. If you're not in the program, add your name to the waiting list. Um, fill out a few questions about your guitar playing. I'll read it. If it feels like a good fit, then I'll reach out to you. Um, and we can see if it uh, makes sense to, to get into the mentorship. So um, other than that, let me just scroll through just to see if I missed anything here. And let me know what you thought of the episode, guys. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was entertaining. And if you like the Foo Fighters, hopefully that did it justice. So uh, let's just double check here. All right, Samuel, nice to see you, buddy. All right. Cool. All right, yeah, the guys love distortion. Awesome. Very cool. Well, yeah, so I'm going to grab a quick drink of water over here. I'm going to... Um, take the distortion off and I'm going to answer any questions that you might have. If you have any questions, please let me know in the chat and I'm happy to answer them. So um, I'm just going to scroll through to make sure. Oh, Steven, nice to see you, bud. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let's see. And Monty back from Romania. We'll post soon. Very cool. Dan. Nice. Great to see you, buddy. All right. And Johnny, thanks, dude. Great episode. Cool, cool. So, um, yeah, Monty, we had a really great uh, jam session on Saturday where we uh, we worked on uh, Summer of 69. Um, that was a really fun session. So definitely check that out in the replay section. And um, cool. So, yeah. So, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, then we'll get on with our night or afternoon or morning wherever you are in the world um you can get on with it and i will um, work on this uh the highlight video so and pete's asking could this be played acoustically that's a great question um yeah of course for sure definitely most songs can be played acoustically um what i was just thinking in that when i saw the question first i was just wondering i'm like whoa i wonder if um i wonder if they have an acoustic version of this because I'm sure someone played this like okay to take the exact part and play that on an acoustic guitar technically that's acoustically like that's you play that acoustically but um 
but when you're talking about acoustic guitar, sometimes you have to modify some things and that's what's going to make it like, <clears throat> excuse me, an acoustic version. So that would be something maybe like, <clears throat> um, what would it be like? Maybe you do like, um, maybe with octaves or something like that. Unless, um, kind of like working this out in my in my head here um it's, it would it would be there you could do something like that where you spell out the actual melody of it um. Some, something like that, but you you don't even necessarily need to do that. You could even um, play. Um, on the acoustic, playing with some clean, something like that might even work. Um, but I, what I would do is I would look it up, see if anyone's already done that work for us. So you can just look up, you know, monkey wrench acoustic version and listen, either listen to someone's, um, someone's version on YouTube. Maybe they didn't like teach it. Maybe it's not a tutorial, but maybe they played it. So it can inspire you to see like, oh, whoa, that's crazy. Um, maybe if I like, if I play in this location here, then I can play the song and it sounds really good. Cause a lot of these songs, sometimes they're like reimagined for uh, acoustic guitar. And those are, that's really cool if that's the case. So definitely Pete, if you find an acoustic version of the song, then definitely send that over. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, but that's kind of what I would do is I would <clears throat> I'd, I'd start by doing something like what's the, the electric version, what the electric version is doing. And then you can kind of um, make some, some adjustments if need be. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely there's, um, you can play this acoustically. So, um, does anyone have any other questions? If not, then we'll wrap up. And um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, Pajama Jam, I love it. I look forward to it every single week. And uh, I love hanging out with you guys and, um, and working on new tunes. So I'm always open to suggestions. I usually want to play songs that I love because that helps. I mean, <laughs> I'm playing, I'm trying to race against the clock here. And, uh, and play something in 30 minutes or less up to speed. So uh, I want to use any edge that I can get. Uh, and so normally I play songs that I love. I attempt songs I love. Um, but I'm always open to suggestions for sure. So with that said, guys, it um, looks like that's all the questions here. With that said, I had a blast tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, Pajama Jam has become something that is, again, it's just a staple in the week, um, Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so mark it in your calendar. We've got another one coming up next week and uh, I'll, learn, I'll attempt to learn another song. But like I said, the re replay of this um, session, this, this episode is going to be up, um, pretty much as soon as I hit the stop button and then I'll work on some highlights and, and all that good stuff. So again, if you want to learn how to do what I just did in the episode, then definitely check out my best-selling book, Practice Less, Play More. You can find that on Amazon. Uh, the easy way to do it, go to practicelessplaymore.com and you'll be able to uh, select your country and what version of the book you want, whether it's paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. And then if you want to work with me personally, where I show you how to do all of this stuff so you can play songs faster, then um, definitely check out playfromday1.com. Add your name to the waiting list. Uh, fill out a few questions about your guitar playing, just so I know more about what you're doing on guitar. Um, seeing if I can help you. And then um, I'll reach out to you with uh, further instructions and we'll see if we can work together. So with that said, thanks so much, guys. Uh, have a great night, great morning, great afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. And we'll talk soon. Take care.